This is a life book, a Fujitsu Siemens, from about 2004, which uh, I got uh, during the summer holidays uh, when I was uh, visiting my family's uh, parents. And, well, they were trying to get rid of some stuff, so I got this machine. So, this machine is relatively powerful for, for the time. It has many, uh, many expansion ports, like uh, the standard uh, PCMCIA, uh, some uh, serial, PS2, uh, parallel, VGA, three USB on the back, Ethernet, the Kensington uh, anti theft thing, uh, plus uh, power USB, S video, Firewire, and the card reader, and uh, DVD reader. Uh, this machine is working relatively nicely, except uh, there is one problem. And check date, okay. Um, error 271, check date on time settings, error system CMOS checks on bad, default configuration used. And of course the reason is that the battery, uh, it's, it, very old system, so you need a new battery. So you can find these things on eBay for not very expensive. Uh, the biggest problem in general is to find out how uh, to access them. Um, documentation is rarely available, but fortunately I found a, a YouTube video uh, complete with uh, how to open with uh, all the screws on, on everything. I'm going to show you how to do it. So first we switch off the machine, unplug it, it's generally a good idea to remove the battery. If you are going to do a lot of uh, move back and forth, uh, you can remove the two screws uh, which protect the, the back here, which allows you to extract the hard drive. So the hard drive is an IDE uh, thing, which at some point later I'm going to replace by uh, a SSD uh, with an IDE to uh, MSATA adapter. I also received this thing, which is a docking station. Uh, this thing goes in the hole here on, on the back. Um, can be used, so you, you keep it uh, plugged on power there, and then you can keep all the connections. Uh, the only problem is that this thing here does not seem compatible. Uh, when you put it there, connector works nicely, this part works, but this thing here is just too long, so I'm not sure. So anyway, back to disassembly. So I already disassembled it first, because I wanted to be sure that I had the right uh, things. So there is one screw here, in, in the center that need to be removed because to access the battery we need to remove the, the keyboard and to remove the keyboard we need to remove this part here so this thing here just have two small screws which are behind the small plastic covers so to remove the plastic covers you just need to put something under and move it up so that's relatively simple and to remove that you can pass a screwdriver under, uh, but you also have some uh, knobs here on the plastic to push to extract them. So I already did it, so just a matter of oh. uh, as a side note. Uh, when I got it, the screen was kind of wobbly, so uh, to fix that, you can just use a screwdriver on uh, the four screws there to make sure that the screen assembly is, is sturdy. So, when that one is there, you can just slide out the keyboard. It's not attached at all. So, to make sure that all these annoying flat cables are not damaged. And then you just need to remove that. That's just one single screw, a uh, screw, a small one like that, in the corner here. So you can just remove that. The rest is just attached with some uh, some sticky tape here and there. 
and then you get access to the to the top part of the motherboard. And the battery is here. It is just under there. And it just attached with a tiny bit of uh, double-sided tape. So what I did was to use some some tweezer to get the wire out, and then some uh, bigger uh, tweezer to extract the battery like that. Then you can see it's just attached with some uh, some tape. On the connector. It's just the small thing there. Yeah, so you need to push a bit there. So that one is a non-working one and hopefully that one is working. So I will have to put some double-sided tape. So let's try to put it back. There you go. When things don't run, it's difficult. So I uh, will put a proper tape later. I will check first if that works. Some is still bad. Uh, so, system time, which is right now 1920, 22. And save and exit. It should complain that there is no hard drive, but uh, yes, operating system not found, but hopefully it's going to stop to complain about the rest. So, can just switch it off. Uh, so I just need to find some double-sided tape and then I'm back. So I'm back, I've not found double-sided tape, but I found some pricked gummy thing. Hopefully that will work good enough. Let's see. Basically, that's the thing which is designed to attach stuff on, on the wall. Probably not optimal for a computer, but... And I guess I'm also going to do some shit to remove the dust. We do the reverse operation, put back that. I'm using one of these magnetic trays to remember what's going where. When putting back uh, this part, I have to make sure that this white thing goes under. You don't want to pinch uh, these uh, flat cables because they are very easy to break. So you need to make sure that all the small plastic clips are there. And then we put back these two screws.
put back the small plastic things. Put back the longer screw in the center there. Hard drive. Insert like that. Look. Two screws. And the battery pack. Biospenu, Fujitsu, Matsushita, so okay, it's so, okay. We still have the proper date and time. Okay. Let's see if the machine boots. Well, not actually, not too bad. From a cold start, we just reached. Uh, there. <laughs> 